But we had to talk about left and right. Yeah. That you they collaborate with um, Jungkook from BTS. Yeah. Shout out to Army. Yeah. And um, what's the memory of the song and the music video that still follows you? So I'm Rupton from the Center of Thailand, and today we are here. You know where? Singapore. And today we're going to interview the talented singer, songwriter, producer, or even TikToker, Mr. Charlie Put. And today we're going to talk about his new songs from his new self-titled album, Charlie, which is the third album and the first album in almost four years, and will be released on October 7th this year. And we got some special exclusive showcase from him later on tonight. So without further ado, this is Charlie Put. Check it out. I'm gonna go because the storm is coming. I'm gonna. So, check it out. Hi Thailand, Charlie here. My new album, Charlie, is out for all of you right now. Thank you all so much for the ongoing love and support. You can check out the exclusive interview on The Standard Pop right now. Hi Charlie, how are you doing? Phenomenal. I mean, um, thank you for coming today and joining us. And um, I want to ask you, how are you feeling today? And um, are you feeling a little bit of jet lag today? Mm, no, jet lag has subsided. Um, I'm feeling like a like a dandy bunny. Mm -hmm. Feeling great. Because I checked the time. It's still yesterday back in Los Angeles. Oh, well, thank you for it that be, reminder. It'll be hard. That's My weird. goodness. Um, we're here to talk about your um, new album, Charlie. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us about the album? Was it different from the previous work, um, both sonically? Aesthetically, emotionally, all the mm. lee in the all world. All the lees. Yeah. yeah I, think, I think you said it, just how <laughs> I would say it. I, it it's uh, kind of an album that came together from combining two unlikely right. things and uh, uh, thus making 12 songs that I never mm. thought I would uh, be capable of making. But uh, I did. I'm very happy about that. And what interests me about this album is, is a self-titled album, you know, and it's um, when an artist releases a self-titled album, it's kind of like making a statement like, this is me, this is what I want to introduce you to the world. But I wonder why you decide to put the name Charlie in the, first al in the third album instead mm. of the first. Well, the first album, there were bits and pieces of it that felt very genuine to mm -hmm. me, like the songs like We Don't Talk Anymore. Um, but I can't say like the rest of the album, they were good, nice songs, but it wasn't uh, music that I could really identify with, um, mostly because there were a lot of political things in place that, you ha that were in place at that time. Um, but uh, with this album, I produced it all myself, and it's just my personality with some music attached mm -hmm. to it. I listened to the album, and I have a couple of favorite songs. I like Loser, I Thank like um, Switch, of course. Yeah, of um, course. But we had to talk about left and right, yeah. that you they collaborate with um, Jungkook from BTS, yeah. shout out to ARMY. Yeah. And um, what's the memory of the song and the music video that still follows you? Oh boy, I, um, I think uh, just the graciousness of Jungkook mm -hmm. and his team uh, coming all the way from South Korea to film the music video in New York. Mm -hmm. That's a long, long flight. And it uh, shows his dedication to the song, and it says it doesn't go unnoticed, and I would do the same for him. Uh, so that, that, that is a memory that stuck with me. Mm -hmm. It's been three years since the last album, but you've, you have like a big social media presence, especially on TikTok. Mm -hmm. And I like about, what I like about you is you have the ability to turn something like very mundane and very like, like this sound of switch and, yeah. into, and create it into a song. Yeah. Here's the light switch sound. You turn me on, make a light switch when you're moving your body around and around. And have it interaction with the fans. And how do you come up with all of that ideas and make it into like a content to the fans? I think it's just even before TikTok was made, I would always hear noises and think, well, what, what can I do to make that into mm -hmm. a song? And TikTok is just the thing that came around that became a platform where I could show that off. Was it, was it sound that you've been <clears throat> recording um, but haven't released yet that would be interesting to, for us to, to listen to, like mm. a sound of teacup or something I, like that? I don't know if there's any teacups. I mean, I'm not opposed to a teacup <laughs> sound, but I think 
there's it, it's more about like the stuff that you can't hear mm -hmm. on uh, the album. There's like a sound of uh, some crickets in the background of uh, you know I'm blanking on one on one of the songs. I put a, a, a sound of crickets just uh, in the background, and when you took it out, it sounded weird. But when you leave it in there, it sounds complete. The song sounds complete. Right, and it's been. A couple of years since you've been, you have a concert in back in Bangkok, and mm. um, is there anything you miss about Thailand and Thai right. people? Well, I mean, the first show that kicked off uh, uh, my tour was in Thailand, and yeah. it was a really special night. And it was the first time that I realized that I had a lot of fans in Thailand because we sold out the arena there, yes. and it was just uh, j the just the fact that they were singing songs, all of the songs. Um, like they were singles, mm -hmm. um, makes me really happy. So I, n I noticed the dedication to all of my Thai fans. And it's just a really fun people, and you guys are so nice. Yeah, yeah. And I, I cannot wait to, for you to come back to Thailand. And um, last but not least, it's kind of like an emotional skip question, but um, I want to ask you, ask yourself, Charlie, as, as a human being and as an artist, what have you changed since the first album till mm. today? I think I, ch I, I think I maybe just grew into myself a bit more. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not exactly as obsessive, compulsive about songs uh, uh, resonating with people as I am uh, about the songs resonating with myself. I mean, I hope, of course, that people like it. I hope that my Thai fans like the songs, but I really care that like I, it feels like I'm doing something different and not remaining the same musically at all times. Is there anything you want to say to your Thai fans out there? Oh, uh, are, are they there? Yeah, <laughs> everyone, please. Uh, hi, Thai fans, I miss you all very much, and I can't wait to do two arenas instead of one arena. Let's make it two. Yes. Yeah. So thank you so much for um, coming all the way from LA to here, and I cannot wait to see your performance yeah. tonight. Yeah, we're going to give you a good little mini show. Just me on the keyboard. Okay, so thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Every corner of my mind.